Salve GBA fans, it's Silks here, and today we have yet another coach interview, but this time I'm not going to be interviewing a newcomer to the GBA, but a returning coach, so please introduce yourself. Yarrr. Hello, friends. What's Gucci Geek? Hi. <laughs> I don't really have anything else to say, I just hi. <laughs> so... You all probably know at this point, uh, it is Num Nexus, and before we get into the questions, I just want to say, uh, welcome back to the GBA. Hey, thanks for having me back, man. Appreciate. It's it's been uh, what about four years, maybe maybe a little less uh, since you were in season three, right? Season three, yeah. There was like some fall in season three or whatever. Yeah, that was the last time. It's been a minute. Yeah, well, you are back now uh, for season nine, so. First question I have for you is, when did you start playing Pokemon, and what exactly got you into the games, and then later on the competitive scene? Um, I guess, I guess what got me to start playing Pokemon is, um, I stole some kid's red cartridge, and I thought that it would be cool if I played it and did better than him, and I did. And I guess then I was like, wait a minute, there's actual, like, strats to this? So I was like, alright, I'll try this out. Um, got my ass handed to me and I was like, wait, this can't happen. So I kind of just picked up on things and now kind of here we are, you know, that was like way back though. That was like, I think, um, well, I think like Game Boy cartridges, like the link cables, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. For like fire red, leaf green, all of that probably around there. Yeah. So did you ever take like any breaks from the games or do you think you've consistently been playing it since whenever you first started? Break is an understatement. Uh, I, 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 honest, if you, honest to God, if you ask me, I think ever since Gen 7's kind of come around, it's not been the same. Um, I don't know, I think a lot of people can agree with that. The Gen 7's just kind of stale. Z moves, am I right? But yeah. I mean, I, I still, still occasionally play, just not nowhere near as often because i don't i don't know z moves man that's all i could say is z moves man <laughs> z moves man well what yeah. what, is, what exactly about the the z moves that uh you don't like too much i guess i don't like it it gives an option to everything and everybody like everybody could do everything and everybody could do everything i just said it twice but yeah <laughs> so um i guess do you like how some draft formats limit the amount of mons that can use the z moves oh yes i love that okay. it's sometimes a headache to sit down and think about oh wait but this guy could carry this z move and that z move for this specific move and this specific mon and this specific strat but i mean to be fair kind of like i'm sure once you play it a lot like it you just kind of get used to it but yeah still you know a little obnoxious it's a little annoying unnecessary if you ask me but i don't know i like all the other things gen 7 brought Coco's, the fucking, uh, the Tapus, the Ultra Beasts, that shit was cool, but something about those crystals, man. Something about those crystals, man. I don't know. What about Mega Evolution out of curiosity? Love them. Okay. Love them. Love them to death. Love them, dog. So are you Love hoping them. for more in Gen 8? Oh, that'd be a blessing. That'd be a blessing. I know everyone's talking about, like, armored evolutions or whatever. I'm not sold on that, but... I mean, hey, look, if they drop more Megas, I'm not going to be complaining. Unless it's something unnecessary like Salamence. Then I'm going to, I don't know, maybe look Masuda in the eye. <laughs> like, what's going on here, my man? Write him an email. <laughs> give him a little talk. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I give him a little stir and talk. And I'm like, what's going on here, man? We needed this? I don't know, man. I don't know. All right. Well, other than uh, the GBA, what leagues have you been a part of? And how long have you been participating in draft leagues? Um, let me see. Well, what the GBA was actually my first draft league. Um, I came in season two. Um, I participated that with uh Shady and uh, whatchamacallit? I did WBE for what is it, the first two seasons? Um, let me see. I did UCL for like uh, what three seasons and an off season, it was like a little cup season, some shit like that. Yep. Uh, and then I did like one showdown, uh, draft league that wasn't really like, it was weird. It wasn't really like an upload like league. You know what I mean? It was weird. Mm -hmm. It was just that minuscule that I don't remember it. Cause it was just, it, it just, it just felt like it didn't exist. 
So I don't know. That was that was the thing. I did the NPA for a little bit too. Um, yeah, and I've been been in draft leagues for a good minute now. Been like 2014. Been in draft leagues for a good minute now. Um, I really want to though, like sit down and like, like a bucket of sweat in these draft leagues. You know what I mean? <laughs> if like, I don't sweat hard enough, as like some of the people, you know what I mean? And cause I, I like some people have like what like front offices and stuff like yeah. that. So I gotta get a bucket of sweat. I don't know. Maybe this season, you know? Since maybe, I'm pretty maybe sure like, this after is your time. the season. Dude, maybe it is, right, man? Hey, hey, don't jinx it. Maybe it is. Because, like, you know, time. I know a lot of people are going to be sweating because, if I'm not mistaken, it's, like, the last Old Sun of Moon. I believe uh, so, yeah. It should be. Draft. Yeah. And then everyone's going to be, like, either learning a new meta or some people pick up things a lot quicker with Gen 8. And, I mean, hey, it'll be exciting. But for now, dude, it's, it, it, it's sweat season, man. Socks, sweats, <laughs> hoodies. Buckets of sweat. It's all about that, man. So I guess uh, that brings up an interesting question. In the leagues that you have participated in, have you ever won any of them? Or what's what's like oh. the highest position you've made in any of those leagues? Okay. I got second place uh, last season in the UCL. For my mind, just not gen properly, dog. I was like, oh, like, you know, talking about the happiness and the lop, mega lop. That's, oh, you that's unfortunate. It. Yeah, you hate to see it. Um, what is it, dude? It's always my own downfall. I think like <laughs> W WBE or whatever. Um, I lost to um John Poke Pokemon, and it's because I didn't bring Wish Jolteon. I brought the other Jolteon that was in my PC box, so now I have this like OCD that like now when I'm done with battling somebody last week, I delete that whole row. I just delete <laughs> it now. Just just um, clear it out. Yeah, it just goes. It just everything just goes, dude. Because I'm like, all right, this cannot happen, man. This is my fault. This cannot happen. Um, let me see. So WBE, I think I like third or some shit like that. I think all it right. was. Um, I got top eight in season two for it. I think like I barely made it though. Like barely, just barely. Uh, I can't lie to you, man. GBA, I've been fucked, manhandled. Time and time again, man. I'm telling you, man. I just get road killed. But I mean, this time we're gonna we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna go around and change some shit, man. We're gonna go around and change some shit this time around, you know? All right. I'll I'll be uh I'll be curious to see uh how this season goes for you. But that also uh, ties into my next question, which is, what's your preferred play style when it comes to battling? I like being aggressive as hell. I like being aggressive as hell, dog. The whole like. Fat bulky play style. I could do it, but like, do I want to? Does anybody want to? People do it to win, but like, it's optimal. But I don't want to do it. You know what I mean? I really like hyper offense, man. Ooh, some something about that shit, man. Some about that shit puts me at full chub, dude. That shit is nuts, man. It's like, it's just exciting. It's fun. It's a throw ride, man. I'm just running no walls, all offensive mons, not a single cleric, not a single support, just all offense, dude. It is just a throw ride. It's a ride, man. Well, you definitely have a lot of bulky mons on your team. So does that mean you're planning on using a lot of them more offensively? A little bit, a little bit, a little bit. Um, I figured um, if you can't beat them, join them. Figured because um, it just seems like the best optimal strat in draft league is bulky offense. I mean, that's just... It just, I mean, I know hyper offense is really good in it too, but from what I've just been seeing and a lot of the people that consistently win these leagues, it just seems to be a lot of bulky offense. I could be wrong, but that's just what it's been looking like to me uh, from other peers as well that have given me the little juice, their two cents. So I, I don't know. I figured why not try it out, you know? I tried it out last WBE. I tried out bulky offense. And I said, fuck it, why not try it out this season too? You know what I mean? And the GBA, I tried out here too, you know? Because I did really I, I did really good the last time I tried it. So I was like, oh shit, it was kind of fun. I'll give it, I'll give it a whirl. So this next question is a bit of a, a, a multi-part question. So the first one is, how do you feel about Ubers in Draft League? And then following that, how do you feel about your Uber? And how do you think it's going to compare to others, uh, the other Ubers that are, were drafted? Uh, okay, so some Ubers, I'm gonna just look at, I'm gonna be like, dog, what the fuck, man? Like, Marshadow, 
I'm telling you. I, I, I think Leo got that. I'm going to just be all like, no. No. I mean, luckily, what? None of the primals are allowed? Yeah. God bless. I, 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 the mental fortitude you would need to deal with them is a process. So that's a God bless. Uh, I mean, I'm just really, I'm, I would really be more annoyed about Mars Shadow, if anything. I like that little fuck, and he's really good. Um, personally, my Uber, what, I got Zygarde? Mm -hmm. Dude, it's fucking Zygarde, man. Oh, yeah, excited to use him. I've used it twice. Uh, for some reason, it was an OU when it first dropped. I, yeah. Beyond me. Literally beyond me. But, you know. I mean, it'll be fun to use. I mean, personally, some Ubers, just not fun to play against. Otherwise, sometimes it's fun to just play complete power, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's just fun because all they do is just click buttons and kill shit, you know? Yeah, I have not seen uh, Zygarde 100% in the draft format before, so it'll be interesting to see what you're able to do with it this season. Yeah, you haven't, eh? Okay, okay. Hey, you know what? I'll, I'll spruce him up a little bit, man. I'll, I'll do some tweaking with the guy, man. All right. I'll do some shit with it a little bit, a little bit, yeah. Ex expecting some heat sets. Yeah, a little bit, man. A little, uh, little mildness. We're going to start off mild and then go right to spicy. Okay. <laughs> So, aside from uh, the Uber, how do you feel about the rest of your team overall? I can't lie to you, man. I'm kind of fucking with it. I can't lie to you, man. Most times, I look at my draft, and I'm like, dog, what the fuck was going on in my head? But I can't lie to you, man. I'm kind of feeling good with this one. I am kind of feeling good with this one. I am. I am. I really am, dude. I'm like, bruh. I want to see where I go with these guys, you know what I mean? It's like a team now, dude, like a family, you know? So I want to see where I go with these bad boys, you know? Whether they go off to college or they sink. <laughs> <laughs> so were there any points in the draft where you got sniped or maybe you wanted to grab something but ended up changing your mind? Yeah, Marshadow. Okay. I want a Marshadow. I 100% want a Marshadow. I'd give a kidney for Marshadow right now. Oh, jeez. I dropped like four mons from Marsh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Be careful what I you I just wish really for. like Marsh Shadow. I really like Marsh Shadow, dude. I just like that mod. I think I got like data mined one day and before Sun and Moon came out, I was like, dog, this is it. This is top five mods for me. This is it. So I just really like that mod. Plus, he's really, really good, dude. Yeah. And that type combination, that it's so cool. Yeah, but, ghost, you know, ghost fighting is very powerful. So cool, man. So. But I mean, hey, I didn't get it, so I can't complain. But I got, I got, I got super cell, so I'm not gonna complain. So you know, I'll see what I see what I do with it. But otherwise, no, I don't really feel like I got sniped. I mean, I just really the moment we started to announce we're doing Ubers, I'm like, dog, I want Marsh Shadow or Primal Kyogre, and then like, all right, y'all, we're not doing Primal Kyogre. I was like, all right, I want Marsh Shadow. I'm telling you, man, I had to, I had to live with that. I had to live that down. But you know, Primal Zygarde. Primal Zygarde. Yeah, Primal Zygarde's cool, too. <laughs> so, are there any coaches that you're excited to battle or, you know, maybe you're intimidated to face off against them because of uh, what their team is like? Yeah, I want Envy's name. I want Envy's name, my, like, right above my fireplace. I want that right there. Right there, dog. I think the last time I played him, he six sold me because he talks and stalled me. <laughs> So I'm like, I want, I want your name, dog. Like right on top of my fireplace. I want it right there, dude. I don't. I just want to like drink coffee and just look at it. <laughs> <laughs> will that be? Will that become your uh, prized possession up there? Defeating oh, envy. definitely. I'm gonna just rub it in. <laughs> but uh, no, I mean, I mean, joking aside, like not really. I kind of just want to like do good. You know what I mean? Yeah. I just want to do good, have fun, last like 3DS draft league, you know what I mean? So, it's it's a lot. It's really hard for a lot of people to be accessible to 3DS draft leagues because not everybody has a 3DS capture card. So now you know everybody and their mothers are switching an Elgato mm -hmm. to be more accessible. Yeah. So we'll probably see a lot more names, a lot more people more involved in draft league come next year, end of this year, depending how early people start. Because, I mean, then it'll give everybody, like, a, you know, a chance. So, 
Yeah, I think that'll I mean, overall be good for the community. Moving yeah, over to Switch. I think it will. Because, like, no one, dog, people gave up on 3DS capture cards, and this is so overpriced. Like, five to seven hundred dollars? Yeah. Yeah, I can't blame people at all. I cannot. So, I guess my last question here is, are you fully satisfied with your team, or do you see any potential trades or potential uh, transactions moving forward? I'm kind of comfy with my team, you know? Last 3DS draft team, like a pretty good, got some fun assets to use, you know what I mean? Pretty excited about it, I can't lie, I just want to see what I do with him. Either I run some freaky shit, or I run some basic shit and I get by, you know what I mean? But. Just kind of want to see where they go, you know? It'll be fun. It'll be fun. It'll be, it'll be a blast, dude. It's always, it's always a good feeling to draft a team and then afterwards look at it and be like, yeah, I'm ready to use this. Because I've, I've personally had times where I draft a team and I'm just like, well, this is a mess. I need to start trading basically everything. Yeah. No, I've done that before, too, where I've drafted a team and I'm like, all right, these guys are just looking like some trash. I need everything new. <laughs> like, I think the most, the most scuffed draft team I had was when I showed up um, in the GBA, the first uh, season two. I, didn't sh I showed up as like a new coach, but I took over somebody and their team. Uh, let me tell you, man. Let me tell you, man, that team was rough. I, I, I The matches that I would play against people were like close, but uh, let me tell you, the, the, uh, dog, it was rough, man. It was just, it was a, it was a very scuffed team. I was like, I had mega septile, man. It was rough, it was rough, man. It was yeah. something. Yeah, taking over for a coach, uh, you know, with conflicting play styles and whatnot, sometimes you just have a bunch of mons that you either don't want to use or have no idea how to use, and you're just like, yeah, these these got to go. Yeah, no, literally. Or if they just draft, like, ass, then it's like, all right, all right, well, I got to live with this now. <laughs> all right, well, I guess before we conclude, do you have anything uh, you want to add or say about, you know, how the season is going to go? Um, I think the season might be the sweatiest season we've seen due to it being the last 3DS season and, you know, we have Ubers. There's like two possibilities. Either it'll A, be super sweaty or B, people might just be real chill. You know what I mean? Real calm before the storm, before Gen 8. They'll just be chill, but, um, I just want to have fun, dog. I want to do good and have fun. That's it. Just those two things, you know? I think those are good motivations to have moving into a new season. And with that, yeah. that's going to conclude our interview here with Nexus. Make sure to subscribe to his channel so you can watch all of his uploads for the GBA and the other content he puts on his channel. Make sure to follow the GBA Twitter to have updates on all things GBA and join the fan discord to join the discussion with other fans, coaches, and analysts alike. With that, I will catch you guys next time. Kiddings, bye.